And now, don't you dare disrespect Zendaya or her stylist will hold a grudge. So when I said, if you say no, it'll be a no forever, that rang true for a long, long time. Zendaya's stylist says that he rejects all designers that originally rejected her. So La Roche, very famous stylist, known for curating all of Zendaya's looks. He was on the Cutting Room Floor podcast. And he talked about approaching the big five fashion brands during Zendaya's early days. Who are the big five? Good question. We only know the little five. Old Navy, Target, Marshalls, Ross Dress for Less, and that one rack at CVS that has sweatshirts with the name of your town on it. But Law knows the big five. I would write Saint Laurent, Chanel, Gucci, Valentino, Dior. And they would all say no. And Mr. Roach kept receipts. So when I said, if you say no, it'll be a no forever, that rang true for a long, long time. By the time she had got to American Vogue, she still had never worn any of those designers. She still hasn't. She only wore Valentino when she got a Valentino campaign. I actually thought it was really cool that he just admitted, yeah, I, I told him, you say no, it's gonna be no forever. And that he stuck to it. Gotta respect that. And it seems to have worked out just fine for Zendaya. This is a very good lesson that we can learn from Zendaya. The label doesn't matter. As long as it looks good, that's all we care about. True, most people don't care when they ask, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Huh? I'm wearing Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing Amazon Essentials. Then the real question is, why are you wearing? Thanks, grudges! Like, I still have all the receipts.